My name's Lisa Conway and I'm the founder of The Zing Project. And Sandy asked me would I do a little five minute uh, conversation here about whatever I want. This is called The Reality Bites. And I think that it's really cool that we can share some of our ideas and thinking here, not because I know more than you, but because everybody has a different view of the world. And I wanna share mine with you today. So people come to me all the time at the Zing Project and they're asking me for things they need help with. Sometimes it's um, like a rebooking policy. Sometimes it's looking for team members. Sometimes they just want to know where the money's hiding. Sometimes they want to get out. Sometimes they want to partner. Lots and lots and lots of things. And that's what I love about what I do. So I used to be a hairdresser too, many, many years ago. I haven't cut hair for, I don't know, maybe 10 years now, to be honest. I'll do the odd one, <laughs> not very well. But the thing that keeps coming back again and again is communication. I can't tell you how important it is to communicate with everyone in your life, but especially your team. Now at Zing, if you wanted to work with us, we insist that you have a meeting every week with every team member. Now in the beginning, some of you find that very challenging because you say, well, we talk to each other all the time. We're always there together and we spend a lot of time together, but it's not the same. It's not the same. So what happens is, um, as the founder of my company, I spend time with my team and my team spend time with the salons that they look after. And those salon owners spend time with their team and their team members spend time with the client and it kind of goes down like that. If the chain's broken, it doesn't work. And we need to also have really clear outcomes for our meetings. We can't just sit down and say, how's it going, right? We use a document called Grow. So what's your goal, okay? And what's the reality? So the goal is I'd like to sell perhaps more product this week or perhaps the goal is to get over that uncomfortableness at the basin when you're talking about a treatment. So that's the goal. So what's the reality? So the second part of grow is R, reality. What's the reality here? Have you had a go and failed? Have you not had a go? What's going on? Okay, then we look for the opportunity. O, G, R, O, opportunity. What's the opportunity? What could we do? All right, we could do, perhaps we could make um, a flyer, perhaps we could make a treatment menu, Perhaps we could have a promotion. They're our opportunities and we pick one opportunity. And then from there, the W stands for the way forward. What's the way forward? So what's our goal? What will we gain from doing this? So what's our goal? What's the reality? What's really going on? R for reality, what's really going on? Okay, O is what's the opportunity? What are we trying to have happen here? What are we wanting to get done? And the last one is after discussion, what are we going to do? What's the way forward? Now you can use those principles for anything. You can talk to your teenage kids. You can talk to your husband. But you need a goal, a reality, an opportunity, and a way forward. If you were to introduce that into your weekly meetings, boom, so exciting. Because communication is like the blood flow in your business. Now, when you're small, yes, maybe you walk al work alongside someone, but it's not the same. They're sitting down and making time to really nut something out that has a SMART goal, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and in a time frame. And that's when you get all those little things done and they build up to much bigger things. So it's really important that you do that. What I'd like to see is that everybody has a, a team meeting at least once a fortnight and everyone has a private meeting with a team member. And if you do that every week, buy them a coffee, just sit down and I'd prefer that it wasn't in the salon because that's not neutral ground. You need to go outside of the salon, sit on the grass across the road from your cafe if you want to. I know people who walk and talk, but it's neutral ground. I prefer that you as a salon leader buys that person an orange juice, a cup of coffee, something, and every week at the same time you have a meeting. So for this girl it might be Wednesday at 8.30 before we actually start with a client. So from 8.30 to 9 o'clock that's your time with that person. And maybe the next day you have it with another team member. 
So you get into this rhythm of just great communication and then your pipe will be just beautifully smooth and all the information and ideas will come out of your head and through into your team members and through in to the clients and then out through the community. It's really magical. So hopefully that was helpful. More than to, um, happy to answer any questions. If you want to type some questions below, more than happy to help you. Hopefully that made you think a little bit. Have a good day. Thanks for the opportunity, Sandy. Bye for now.